place football fans. Nothing like a good duel. We're gonna watch two of the best throw down. Smith and A.J. Green had a wide receiver duel for the ages in week three. Smith had 13 catches for 186 yards and two scores. Green had 10 for 227 and two trips to the end zone. Smith and Green are football martial artists at the highest level. Both exhibit masterful skills that you can hardly see with the naked eye. Smith is a 5'9", 195-pound tough guy. He exhibits feats as a ball carry that often seem reserved for men 5 inches taller and 30 pounds heavier. The 6'4", 207-pound green is a water bug in a praying mantis's body. When you think about their builds, both are exceptions to the rule. Smith is too short for his frame, green too skinny for his. But Smith is big and strong for his height, and green is graceful and wiry. Both are lightning quick and tough, and they downplay whatever weaknesses that they have by developing skills that magnify their strengths. I'm Matt Waldman with the RSP Boiler Room. Boiler Room is a series featuring analysis that I would hypothetically share with NFL decision makers if I was asked to find a handful of plays that illustrates the talent, skills, limitations, and future potential of NFL prospects. This week's episode highlights a single play from two NFL greats that will give fans an idea of how much more precise and advanced than all pros route skills are compared to your typical top rookie prospect. He is so small, but he's so explosive and so strong. We begin with Smith, who has developed a mastery of leverage to complement his strength and quickness. We're going to watch him use these skills to get the best of the rugged Leon Hall from the slot. Watch Smith slot right get separation into his turn on Hall. It almost looks like Hall jumped backwards as Smith breaks to the flat. But let's slow it down and take a closer look at Smith's quickness and hand placement. When we freeze the frame, look at Smith's inside arm. It's locked under the arm of Hall. That's a great leverage location point to force an opponent off balance, especially when in Hall's position. Smith has total control of that side of Hall's body, and even the smallest of shoves will throw Hall off balance. The combination of quick, accurate hands to Hall's body and a slight shove during the break is so well choreographed that no official is going to call a penalty on Smith for a route that close to the line of scrimmage. Smith's work on Hall is one of many of 89's portfolio that reminds me of the power and precision of Bruce Lee's punches from incredibly close quarters. Awesome. Where Smith creates leverage points and quickness to disguise his physicality, Green creates an illusion of movement to earn position with finesse. This is a 30-yard throw and catch, and incredibly, Green wins this route with a single step one yard behind the line of scrimmage. It's a sleight-of-hand trick that David Blaine would admire. Note Green's arms rising as he lifts his back foot. These two moves simulate forward motion to the corner's outside shoulder, and it gets the defender leaning to the sideline despite the fact that Green never takes a step forward. The DB is tricked by the illusion of movement, and Green simply pivots inside before taking his first step. When Green takes that first step, he uses his inside arm to swat downward on the wrist of the corner and then rips upward with his outside arm. That outside arm acts as both a weapon to establish position and a barrier to maintain it within Green's first two yards past the line of scrimmage. The next step earns the receiver a yard of separation from the corner in position to accelerate into the route. The whole sequence takes place within three yards of the line of scrimmage as quarterback Andy Dalton is about to finish his drop. You can see how the route and drop marry up and Dalton shows no hesitation about letting the ball go and letting Green run under it for the catch. It's a 48-yard play from a 30-yard catch based on separation or in three yards past the line of scrimmage because of the illusion created before Green took a single step. Awesome. These two plays illustrate how the exponential leap in talent comes down to the smallest of details mastered with hours of work to hone the raw material of athletic ability and the polish of skills that turn college studs into NFL stars. It's exceedingly rare to see college receiver prospects executing at this level of detail, and it's why watching NFL players should inform your grading standards when studying college stars. Thanks again for watching. For more tape breakdowns and analysis, visit my YouTube channel, The RSP Film Room, and my blog, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com. Later.